This is one of the coolest things I've seen this year. Check this out. And this is what we all feel. Let's just not deny it. Something pulls and it tears in the deepest place. This is what we all know. Why must we still fight it? It's time to open our eyes and acknowledge the writing on the wall. Hey guys, we're in a drought, and to give you some perspective on how strong it is from July 10th of last year to July 3rd of this year, uh, it rained less than five inches. And so I don't know what has me more excited, the content in today's video or the fact that in the last month it's rained three inches um, and two in the last six days um, since, and I came up with this idea last week um, so I started putting together these videos on what it's like to farm in the drought and it rained two inches in the last six days. So I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta think about putting together and talking about what the drought's like a lot quicker next time uh, so we can get that rain coming. But today's video is about how I've seen our filtration rates increase um, even in the midst of the, uh, of the drought and how our ground has been able to take on more moisture events, uh, whether it's a rain event or whether it's irrigating our irrigated circles. And that's where I'm gonna take you today. I'm gonna take you inside the irrigated circles and we're gonna see exactly how well our ground is filtrating the water when we get those events. So let's go. All right, guys, it's funny. I'm doing a video on farming in the drought, but you can see this field, man, it really came out of uh, its drought conditions just from this last inch of rain. And so this is a dry land field um our, our corners of our irrigated circles are dry land so i'm walking through that it's kind of fun to see how awesome and green uh this uh this field is right here as i'm, I'm walking over to the, the sprinkler all right guys here we are at the edge of the irrigated circle and i'm really excited to show you this we're filtering more water into the ground because of soil health principles now a quick overview of how this works when you do no-till and you put cover crops in the ground, the roots of those plants put out what's called exudates, and those exudates uh, are, are a glue, and they bind soil particles together and create structure in your soil. And so then your, your soils are able to filtrate more rain water into the ground, and I'm gonna prove it to you right now. Okay, so here we are, walking into the, the tall corn here, and I'm gonna get to a spot right behind the sprinkler you can see all the water pooling up right there, right behind the sprinkler. And it rained an inch just on Sunday. So this is two inches within 48 hours on this ground. All right, and look at my boots right there. Hold on, I'm gonna set the tripod up. Look at my boots. You see, I'm not sinking into the ground. I'm pushing my thumb, finger into the ground. I'm not sinking in right in there. I'm standing on top of the ground, okay? Just to show you it's not a fluke, here I am in another spot, okay? I'm not sinking into the ground. I'm able to stand on top of the structure that we built in this soil. I'm not sinking in, in the ground at all, okay? We got plenty of structure here and it's awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna head to my neighbor's field where they've done conventional tillage and I'll show you the difference on the structure in this field compared to this other field that we're going to. Real quick, before we walk into my neighbor's, I show you the clip of me walking into my neighbor's field. I wanna be clear about something. One, I had his permission uh, to make this video and, and, and do the comparison. And two, I love my neighbor to death. I have got a great relationship with him. So I don't want anybody to think that I'm, I'm speaking ill of my neighbor. I'm, I'm just simply wanting to show the difference in filtration and conventional tillage and, and no-till and the soil health principles. Here we are at my neighbor's field and I haven't even, I don't even have to walk in. I, I can show you how it's not filtrating. Look at the massive amounts of water that are still here right behind his pivot. Look at how I'm sinking in right there. We'll get in there and I'll, I'll show you uh, from the inside. Okay, so right away, I can't even hardly put my tripod down because of all the, the water. It looks like you got a higher spot here. Perfect, okay, this is gonna work great.
That was a good one right there. See my boot coming out? See the massive hole I'm leaving? There's a look at how deep my boots sink in there. And if you come back to this other spot right here, I went clear in. Okay, let's go to one more field of, of ours just to show it's not a fluke on that one, that this is the way it is. Okay guys, it's so cool to see the cover crops growing in here on this field. Um, I love seeing the vegetation and everything. So I walk up here, I'm gonna jump just to show you this isn't a fluke. Okay, so I just jumped up and down. Does it look like I'm sinking in? Just to show you saw a fluke with where the circle is. There's a nozzle right there. I'm right behind the circle. And look how awesome all the cover crops are growing in between these rows. I love, I love soil health. Guys, how cool and exciting is it to see regenerative agriculture principles at work out in the field? Um, it's so encouraging to me. I hope it's encouraging to you. And I want you guys to know, I love my neighbor that we were at his field. Uh, I love all my, my relatives that are still doing conventional tillage. And you know, if, if you're a farmer who's still doing conventional tillage, I sympathize with you. I was you in, in 2016. But you know what? There is a better way that's gonna save you money, that's gonna increase the filtration uh, rates in your, in your fields, and is going to allow you to produce better crops with more mi micronutrients for your consumers so that the whole world can be eating uh, food that's healthier and more nutrient dense, all right? So guys, if you're, if you're a farmer, please consider switching to, to soil health principles and applying all the soil health principles and getting into regenerative agriculture. If you're not into uh, agriculture, I know you're a consumer of food grown in the United States please like and subscribe to our channel and share as much as possible so we can share the word and get the word out there to as many people as possible that how awesome regenerative agriculture is. Love you guys. I know we already closed the video, but um, I, I really need uh, to ask a favor. If you are watching this video and you're a person of prayer, um, my neighbor, is really struggling with his eyesight. He doesn't have eyesight in one eye and then um, he's got some other issues going on with his other eye. And he comes out here every day and still checks his wells, even though he can't hardly see anything and has his wife drive him out. Um, so if you could join me in praying for my neighbor, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, God, in, in Jesus' name, I just ask you to bring healing to his eyes because you're a God who heals. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, thank you for uh, praying with me for my neighbor.